Mark's allowed me to be Nazi for a day. I think that's him there behind me there. Just about there. Is that him? Matt's doing some wild camping. It would be wild and all. Oof. You don't get wilder than this. That wind's horrendous. Here we are in Teeling Bay. That is the one man's pass on the sleeve league. Oof, be up there on the day like this. Just having a bit of grub before we go on the water. Well, if I'm sick later on, you know exactly what it'll look like. That. Daisy and Katrina going paddling without us. Not bothered. That's the sleeve league night and shrouded in mist. It's going to hammer down again. Here we are, Teeling Harbour. Teeling. The weather's not brilliant again, but at least it's calm. Ready now, sir. Into Sligo Bay, isn't it? Like? Yeah, Sligo Bay. There you go. Straight into the action. Woof. Some Jesus in the boat going to call on here now. He's got a full memory card. <laughs> Four hours worth of Jesus in the boat. He's got his full memory card. But have you got the um, power pack? Oh, yeah. Look at him nodding. My God, it looks awesome down there. Peace at last out the wind. A lovely, peaceful day. And that's found a cave. He's like a ferret in a rabbit hole. We do any cave.com. We do any cave.com. Wow, look at that sea. It is lovely. Jesus is beckoning me like there's a seal in here or something. I recognise that signal. Oh, see what it's all about. I thought he was showing me some wildlife. And I made the camera turning on and the Bluetooth on too. Oh, for that distraction. Look at that water, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Look at starfish here. The starfish enterprise, look at that. Never seen as many little starfish. That one had his leg missing. You know what happens if you cut, a, cut them off, don't you? Oh, look at jellyfish there. It's all happening in here. Oh, it's full of jellyfish, look at them. Go on, I'll let Jesus go first. He's got his torch. This is an amazing little cave, this. A good cave, man. 
good starter. Looking and challenging himself through the swells. Nothing compared to what we had yesterday. Absolutely nothing. So I am. And that's it for the day. And if there's any rules and regulations broken, I'm going to be down on you like a ton of bricks. This is pretty amazing, the sleeve league. Can't really do it justice here. The sleeve league hasn't even started yet. That's where it starts, that square tower there. We've not even begun. This is just the piddling warm up to it. This end that looks amazing, eh? Ooh, it just started raining a minute ago. I think we're going to have some rain. It's miserable when it rains. I don't want bloody rain all over the lens. Wow, this place looks just amazing. That has just got to, you've just got to go in there, haven't you? It is against the law not to. The only decision now is do I go left or do I go right? I'm gonna go right because I can see. I'm not sure if I can get down the left. This looks like an amazing lagoon. I don't know if I can get out, but I get the impression that I'm landlocked when I get in it. Oh, MG! You can get out. They're just two pinnacles on their own. Oh, that's, I don't know if that's even more astounding. Whoa! Ooh, you can't quite get through the second one, you might do. Jesus has attempted it. <laughs> Don't know you though, do I? Give you some example, here's some idea of the scale, there's Jesus at the bottom of the pinnacles. He's going to attempt that him. Just in that sweet spot here, out that wind. Look at the water there in front of me. Well, I'm drifting into it now as the wind finding me. Bit of boat in it. There he is. Jesus in a boat. And there, this is the actual real start of the sleeve league here now. Once we've run that corner. We've seen nothing yet. Look at the detail in that rock though, it's incredible. It's uh, not unlike Anglesey, actually. Same, but different. Because he's going left and I'm going right. I'm going left, he's going right. And then we come out up to the side. Wow, look at this place. It's just a monument to rock. You just turn that corner and you're in another bay. Got the caves over there. There's a cave there. Oh, we're into caves. It's incredible here. Look at that rock there. Whew. It's all laid down horizontally, remember? Whatever's happened has happened afterwards. The compressions, the falls, the tilting, anything else. <laughs> Turn right. Turn right. Look at that beast. Oh my God. Wow, look at this. So, chin strap tight on my tongue. Torch at the ready. Following Matt. This one's a beast. Let's torch it on. Wow, listen to that silence. Some strange here. I can hear what sounds like a boat engine in this cave. Look at that water. Crystal clear.
There's Matt at the bottom. I don't know if you can see him. Jesus in a boat. Wow. Look at that, it's humongous. Okay, for the trip there, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we like caves. We do any cave.com. We do any cave.com. We do any cave. What is going on here? In the dark. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. 100% awesome cave. Just so good. I've just cleaned my lens. How much better is that? It's absolutely awesome in here. Donegal Cave, a cave in Donegal, wow that was absolutely magic in there. Excuse me sir, there's no rolling of cigarettes at the entrance to this cave, by order of the Nazi government. Look at Matty, see the arch, he's onto it like a cat on a kipper. And no wonder. Some kind of amazing little... Oh, is it a dead end? Oh, look at that. Lucky here. Some kind of amazing dead end. Little lagoon into a cave. To an amazing slab of rock. Try your only toe top rock. Bash your head up rock. Oh, no, bash your boat instead. Look at that surface clinging on for grim death. Look at this one. <laughs> Look at that one hanging on. It's like a man hanging on. Can you see it? Here is the starfish I'm talking about. Look at that. Oh, it fell. It's like doing a parachute now. It's like doing a free fall to the seabed. This is my kind of stuff. It's absolutely awesome. Five minutes of card left me. Five minutes of Nazi in a boat. Matt's finally hit the promised land. That's the arch where we was, just round there. 30 yards away, we're into another cathedral cave. Can't be as good as that last one, cannot be. Slab of rock. That is just oof, about 50 meters of 
Even Matt's impressed. Fifty meters, do you think? Yeah. What a chance. Yeah. The climbers would love that, the challenge of climbing that. Don't catch me attempting it. All this, and we've not even started that. I think it's right next, and the sleeve league starts proper. Right, we'll try again. This is the headland I was thinking of. Here it is. OMG. Is the sleeve league. Look at it up there. That's one man's pass up there. There's just room for one man to walk up there. It's like a knife edge. A striding edge on. Helvellyn or Crib Gock on Snowden. By God, have we just been through some rough water there. I don't know if you can see Matt at the bottom there. This is the sleeve league proper. That's one man's pass at the top. I'm really struggling here. The wind, it just comes and gusts and it's howling. It's, it's as if it's not bad enough, it's raining as well. It's oh. beaching there we're going to try and land on. Ooh. It's absolutely awesome. Look, there's rain on. My God. Oh, my God, God, God. Oh. I've got one minute on my card left. Oh. My God, I finally found a spot out that wind. Just my... Oh, it's howling on you. It comes down off them hills. It's absolutely amazing here. We're going to try and land on, there's a beach there at the bottom, I don't know if you can see Matt. I'm coming right to the end of my card. There's no way I can change my card out here, it's too rough. It's absolutely amazing out here. Oh, I've left it running, there's hardly anything left off card, and I left it running. Where's Matt coming back out here, what's going on? So here it is. The highest sea cliff in Europe, apparently. 500 and odd metres up there. My God, it all went wrong out there. Oof. And look at it now, it looks nothing. You just cannot get a grasp of the scale of this place. That isn't the top of the cliffs. The top is right back beyond there. That's the big viewpoint you see on all the photos. See that headland there, they all get on there and take a photo this way of it. Forget what it's called. But first, look at him with bag of grub. I feel like uh, Man Friday. A malnourished person. <laughs> I feel malnourished if we've got no water pressure. That wind is absolutely howling in here. My God. We're going to have to draw a straw strip. There's one tea bag. I cannot believe that. I absolutely cannot believe it. There's one tea bag. We're going to have to have a life squeezed out of it. Have you got some bacon as well? Yeah. Oh, use that. It's fresh. How long's that been there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Beautiful, huh? So he says. We're in one of the most extreme places we've ever been. It's probably the most extreme, isn't it? That wind and weather's extreme out there, I'll tell you. Oof. I'm extremely thirsty. Jesus. Matt's talking about going home, and I'm not talking about going back to the van, I'm talking about going to a ferry. We'll have to explore that up way back over there. It looks nice and calm over there. <laughs> we get about 100 yards of calmness and then the maelstrom. It must be all right there because he's pulled in in that boat. It must be something like. I can see it bobbing up and down like a... That's why he's pulled in. Quack, quack. Like a rubber duck. Look, the uh, clouds are teeming over the edge of the mountain. Can you see? 
They touch us, it's going to change us to zombies. <laughs> Jesus, look it's at that. Down, yeah. Matt's doing some wild camping. It would be wild and all. Oof. It don't get wilder than this. That wind's horrendous. Oh. Trying to keep the rain off the camera lens, off the camera. Oh, it's murder. It's really turned horrible and nasty. And the wind is howling. I think it's time to go. But Matt's asleep in a cave. The leaving of the Sleeve League beach. This is where we're going down there. Absolutely epic, burn it. Yeah. <sighs> We'd never go out in that by your choice. My God, are we glad to get round here? Whoo wee! Just as I got round the headland, uh, them last two waves were up to my armpits here. The water was just up to my armpits. It's like when you approach an headland like that, it has to have one last go at you, doesn't it? Beavis. Beavis and Butthead. Look at that view, though. Huh? I know. It's just two different seas all along the same coast. Just get beyond this headland here. It's a boiling cauldron. Yeah, here it's as flat as a mill pond. We're nice and relaxed now, we can have a leisurely look at everything on the way back. Through the caves. Gotta go in these caves again, they're awesome. Well that is just the most amazing piece of rock that I cannot believe how amazing that is. Amazing. Sun's come out, but it's raining at the same time. Matt loves the rain. He loves to get me out in the rain. What curious atmospheric conditions are these? I'm not bothered, I've got a dry suit on and an helmet. One thing I'm bothered about is my camera getting splashed. Shelter in it, Kev. <coughs> Shelter from that side base out there. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. 
That's been attacked by a, Either that or he's flemmed up. Have you flemmed? <laughs> We're being watched. Giggity, giggity, gone. Some kind of amazing fish orgy going on here. What is going on? It's just little tiddling fish on the surface. Oh, what's going on here? All the fish are like having a some kind of Benny. Spot that in that scene. There he is. Everything on this course is on an epic scale, including the wind and the rain. He's looking across the bay to Sligo. Sligo's over there somewhere. And Donegal's in the left here. Donegal. That's the view over to Sligo, over Sligo Bay. How the hell does a stone gable end like that? Stay up over winter. The wind, oh God, the winds and the gales will get here. How can that survive? A last look at where we've been. We've actually been the other side of that there. It doesn't look so far away. That's the one man pass. The day would have been so much better with a bit of sunshine. It's fantastic scenery. Really rugged and just wild. Beautiful. Up there. Wow. God only knows what it would be like up there on a day like this. You'd be clinging on for grim death. We've got one last. Uh, slogging to the wind before to go. The Teeling Pier. <laughs>